Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of English Corporativo. I hope you're doing great and thank you very much for logging in. How are you doing today, guys? All good? Oh, yes. Everything good, teacher. Okay, fantastic. Well, nice. I'm glad that you're able. I'm glad that you're able to log in. Now, um, to start, who can tell me what was yesterday's topic? Does anybody remember yesterday's topic? Uh, we saw the video mm -hmm. and... What was the first video about? About a creepy story. story. Exactly. Time clouds. Yes. Clouds. The, the first video was about creepy stories. And creepy stories. the other one was about time clauses. What time clauses do you remember? Uh, before, once, uh, the moment. Before, after, uh, when, uh, why. Mm -hmm. As some as as soon as correct soon as. until which one until uh huh until. by the time by the time okay Went good so let's go ahead and work with the first one all right what was the first one before if I'm not mistaken right yeah okay give me an example with before please uh, using the past uh, tense for example uh -huh, go ahead before i had my first car mm -hmm. i had to work i had uh, to go to work by bus nice before i had my first car comma i had to go to work to work by, by bus. bus nice good example does anybody have another one with before teacher mm -hmm. for example um i always take a shower uh before Uh, I I go to the work. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, this one is actually being used as simple present. Remember that yes. what these do is that they pretty much link ideas. These are subordinating conjunctions, right? One idea depends on the other one. So, um, you can use it in... in any tenses. I will stop by your house before I go to work. So we can mix them. Now, using them in past, as we were working with. Would you mind trying to give me an example in simple past? I started, I mm -hmm. started uh, in, in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, after uh, I game play soccer. Okay, so what happened first? You played soccer or you studied? I studied. Okay, so I started in the morning. I started in the morning. After? After I uh, played soccer. I played soccer. Yep, it is good. I started in the morning after I played soccer. Nice. Good job, Mauricio. Um, what is the next one that follows? The next clause. After. Okay, we already have after. And after, after? After. Uh, once. Once, okay. Give me an example with once, please. Anybody? Uh, once. once, 
Mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead. Once. Once, exactly. Una vez que. Mm -hmm. Once you pass the exams, you can graduate. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but once you pass, can we get another verb for pasar los exámenes? Instead of pass? Passed. Uh, mm -hmm. Anybody finished? in vocabulary? Finish. Okay. Oh, graduate. Once you finish your career, Vamos a cambiarle un poquito para darle más contexto. Ok. Once I finish my career, I hope to get a decent job. Ok. Good luck. Mm -hmm. uh, once you finish, I hope to get a decent uh, job. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we can also use it in past. Mm -hmm. Julio, do you have a question? Julio Sequeira, do you have a question? Ok, never mind. Hay un botoncito ahí, guys, que dice raise hand. Entonces, si tienen alguna pregunta, porque a veces ando como que soy loco viendo todos los cuadritos, a ver quién está hablando. <laughs> Pueden apretar esa manita y ahí me ayuda para saber quién es. Si tienen preguntas, if you have any questions. All right, very good. Um, for example, once I started living alone, my life got better. Once I started living alone, my life got better. Once I started living alone, my life got better. I want my good and my good. So, God, oh, our life. we can keep the past tense. Nice. Which is the other one, guys? Before, after, once. The moment. The moment. At the moment. The moment. En el momento el que tal cosa. And then? Um, the moment I find I find a job, I will save part of my salary. Yes, that was Arturo, right? Yes. Okay, nice. Good example. But make sure that we keep it in the past tense. Okay, here's okay, an example. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, the, past. Uh -huh. the moment I got my first job, I started seeing the value of saving money. Nice. The moment I got my first job, I started seeing the value of saving money. I started seeing mm. seeing the value. But seeing the value is very Spanishy, like it's direct translation. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Understand. I started. I started. I started a Appreciate, maybe? Could be. App appreciating the money. Uh -huh. The value of the money. The value of the money. Okay, do me a... Give me a second, guys. <laughs> Which is the next one? I got it. Okay. Nice. Sorry about the dog, you know. Okay. Oh, it's a puppy. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. I... Okay. Until... Until, uh -huh, give Until. me an example. Like, like, like the sauna. Until I met oh. you, I saw life in pain. Ah, so romantic, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I met you. Until, <laughs> Until I you met you, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I saw, what else did you I say? So I saw the life in pain. The life in pain. I don't know if it's is is right the, the traduction of the song. Me neither, because I haven't heard that song, but it makes sense. Hasta que mm -hmm. te conocí. Okay. Vi la vida en dolor. With pain? Ah, pero no. Ah, okay, I got it. Okay, got it. Got it. Uh -huh. Nice, nice. Uh, I don't know if it's right, but it makes sense. Um, yeah, the next one. Good. Next example. By the time. Uh -huh. By the time. Good. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, for example, example, 
by the time I graduated from high school, I didn't know what I want to. Nice. We've been there, I think. Yeah. By the time I graduated, I graduated from high school. From high school. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I want to. I didn't know what I wanted. Lo que want. quería. Okay. Oh, okay. Lo que quería. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't know what I want. I want. Is this the last one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, um, remember, guys, every topic that we are covering, you have to practice it. So the very first thing, the next class, is that we are going to review the previous one. That way we can keep track of the progress that we are making in class. All right? Okay. So okay. go ahead and read a little bit with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. Lesson objective. Nice. Um, I, I would appreciate everybody pronunciating. Lesson objective. Lesson, lesson, lesson objective. Lesson objective. Nice. Lesson objective. In this class, in this, in this class, class, participants will learn adjectives for discussing behavior and personality. Participants will learn adjectives for discussing behavior, discussing behavior and personality. Now I need you to let me finish and then you all repeat this. Pay attention to the pauses, linking, etc. In this class, participants will learn adjectives for discussing behavior and personality. Go, please. In this class, participants will learn adjectives for discussing behavior and personality. Nice. I need a volunteer to read it, please. Just one. Come on, just this one. Okay. In, In this, this class, uh -huh. go yeah. ahead. Okay. In this class, participants will learn adjectives for discussing behavior and personality. Uh huh. Nice. It can be personality or personality, the one that you want. Personality and personality. Okay, thank you. Good job, Irene. So let's go ahead and work with this. You know, these classes are as far as vocabulary, conversational, etc. I see here that you have been working on this. All right. I'm going to play it. Please go ahead and mute your microphones. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens? In your 20s, how do you behave now? Try to be as honest as possible. All right, guys. Um, I need some of you, before we start with this, to give me a definition of being honest. In English or Spanish? I would prefer in English, but if we don't, if we can find the words, then we to can say the truth. To tell the truth. Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. To tell the truth. Now, <clears throat> I know that most of you don't know each other. However, I want to encourage you to tell the truth in this. We want okay. to know. We're going to review this vocabulary first. Um, what is the meaning of ambitious? Ambitious. Uh -huh. and, Ambitious. And, in, and in English, how would you describe it using your own words? A person who wants always more. Okay. 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 I like yeah. it. A person who always oh. wants more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. What is the meaning of argumentative? 
well, maybe a person who likes to, to argue. So I mean, uh, who likes to discuss about something. Uh -huh. To give a comprehensive, uh, I mean, dialogues or comprehensive uh, definitions. Okay. Yeah, I like it. So we're going to use this one as a person who likes to discuss different scenarios. Discuss, discuss. In the good discuss. and in the bad way. Mm -hmm. Okay? So people who like to discuss. For, for example, a lawyer? Yes. Exactly. Giving a lot of arguments, you know. Good. Good example. Any questions so far with ambitious and argumentative? So far, so good. Nice. What about so carefree? Good. Say with me, please. Carefree. 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 What do you think is the meaning of carefree? The it's basically person when who you... doesn't care anything. Uh -huh. Yes, nice. A person Maybe. who doesn't really care much. Ah, uh -huh. who doesn't really care much. Like most teenagers, they are carefree. Carefree. Mm -hmm. You have Plenty a test. Of... You have a test tomorrow. I don't care. I want to play Free Fire or watch TikTok, yeah. whatever they do now. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Conscientious. 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 In Spanish, consciente. Aha, uh -huh. and in English? Being something like being aware of the of the environment or, or aware of any situation related to the context. Okay. Aware of the surroundings. Uh -huh. Aware of surroundings. Nice. Next one. Nice. Naive. No es naive. 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 <laughs> naive. <laughs> naive. naive. Spanish is ingenuo. Uh -huh. Yes. And in English? Naive. naive. Like you, you are ignorant. That you are good uh, for the bad. No, bad for the bad and good for the good. Trust. Mm. You have no idea. Doesn't have an idea what he's talking about. Uh huh. Someone who doesn't really know much about any topic. Subject. Mira que inocente, un niño. So naive. 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 <laughs> That's another topic. Um, by the way, I always like to mention this. Have you ever... Okay, you can see what I'm looking for, right? Yes. Yes. I think that you have... Everybody seen this at the supermarket. You know what this is? It's Let's actually see. water. Yeah, France. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Have Already you ever seen this water. at the supermarket? Yeah. Yes, yes, I have. Do you know how much is it? I don't know. It, it's expensive. No, it's about three dollars. Like three dollars. A bottle. You the bottle. And if you compare it with Cristal, it is very mm -hmm. expensive, right? Right. Right. What does You're it right. say? Backwards. Innocent. Innocent. Exactly. Naive. 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 I don't know if it has to do, but it kind of makes sense. Uh -huh. uh, again, I don't know if it's true, but you can pay 50 cents. Wow. <laughs> you can pay 50 cents, and this one is like three, five dollars. I don't know. So keep it in mind. Uh -huh. No. Mm. Next one, pragmatic. 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 It's one person. It's one person. Even the most who prefer they not take. Give me a second. Give me a second. Is a person in Spanish? Yes, exactly. Someone. Pragmatic, pragmatic. Who likes. They always complain about 
pragmático. Pragmático quiere decir práctico, una persona práctica. Practica. Mm -hmm, that's right. That they focus on doing the thing. Like, who likes to prove any, any theory. Exactly. So, not much, not much blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. more complication. Action. Complication. Oh, a person who, who achieves uh, the, the goals uh, in the most efficient way, maybe. It could be. That's another one. There is a more, more complete definition. So, it's like practical. You get to do practical. things. Next one, mm -hmm. rebellious. 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 A person doesn't like to others say what he or she should do. Okay, a person who what? doesn't listen. One who doesn't, who doesn't follow instructions. Another one. A person Someone who is against the system. Against, against the, the system, authority, the ones who like to break the, the rules, authority, break the rules. to break the rules, a people, a people that don't obey orders, exactly. So, exactly. that's the meaning of rebellious. <laughs> now, sensible, 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 mm -hmm. and in English, how would you describe a sensible person? <laughs> okay, person who is being touched. Or everything? Uh huh. When you get touched by everything, that you have uh, strong emotions, perhaps? Yeah. What else? What other definition? Cries a lot, man. A person that always. <laughs> could be that cries Some, a lot. Someone who is prudent. Worst. Prudent, you said? No, it hurts. Prudent. Someone who is prudent. Could be. With prudent, you mean like actually avoids doing things or thinks twice before doing something? Heading for any work. Okay. So, yeah, let's say that sensible, a person who has uh, very strong emotions, um, very emotions strong. for example, might be someone who can get offended easily, someone yeah. who can cry easily. Okay. And the last one. Sophisticated. Okay. Sophisticated. Sophisticated, sophisticated mom. Mm -hmm. Person who has extravagant. Extravagant. Taste. Uh, uh, but that's, that's a good, it's valid. Mm -hmm. A flamboyant person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, so pretty Very much cool. the opposite. Not necessarily. Uh -huh. The opposite of someone simple. Mm -hmm. Ah, exactly. Mm -hmm. The opposite People of that knows thing. everything. Yeah. Do you think that millionaires are sophisticated? No. Some of them. I don't know. <laughs> some of them well, are. And some others, some... you see them with $20 shirts, $40 jeans, right? Very special shoes. No, I don't think so, but anyway. Sophisticated okay. is someone who likes to show off. It could be, it can be in, in many different ways. So, someone who likes to show off, someone who likes to flare, uh, someone who is the opposite of simple, in the All good right. or in the bad way. Okay, so okay. let's go ahead and review the vocabulary we have learned or we have uh, reviewed today. Ambitious. 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 Argumentative. Ambitious. Argumentative. 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 Carefree. Carefree. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. Rebellious. Rebellious. Sensible. 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 Sophisticated. Sophisticated. That's right. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group so you can have a base to work. What mm -hmm. other what others can you give me that are not on the list to describe personality or behavior? A worker? Hard worker? Write it down in the chat. Hard working? What else? Travel maker? Troublemaker, okay. Troublemaker. Write it down in the chat, please. In this chat, mm -hmm. in, the, 
in Zoom chat. Uh -huh, yes. okay. Annoying. <laughs> annoying. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was annoying when I was a teen. Uh, what else? <laughs> uh, insane. Insane. It's like super crazy. What else? Psycho. A psycho. Psycho. Well, this is stream. Uh, stream. Extreme. Psycho is someone bad. Like crazy. Um, bad attitude. Okay, bad. someone with bad attitude. Intelligent. Right. Bad. Intelligent. That's right. Intelligent. Mm -hmm. Angry. Smart. Angry. Angry. Smart. Angry. A jealous too. Yeah. Jealous. 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 All right. So Jealous. what we're gonna do right now, my dear fellas. We're going to open up the break rooms and we are going to start talking about first about our youth. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you about behave what? about your ah. youth? La juventud. Ah, okay. Youth. Uh, okay. A muchos ya se nos fue, pero youth. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> We're still so young. <laughs> I'm still young. I'm still young. Forever yeah, young. Forever young. Still young. Forever young. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. So um, first, we're gonna be. I forgot to show to show this to you before we go to the break point. We're gonna have three sessions. In the first one, we're talking about how we were, or how, <clears throat> sorry, how did we behave in our teens. Mm -hmm. When we were like 13, 14, 15, 19, those are the teens. The next round is going we're going to talk about our 20s. Mm -hmm. Normally you change, right? It's not the same a teenager that someone in their 20s. Uh -huh. And then the third session is going to be today. Okay? So, I'm going to open up the group. We're going to start with the teens. You're going to describe how you behave you're gonna use um, adjectives. We're gonna do it in uh, six minutes. You're gonna have six minutes to talk with your classmates. Make sure everybody talks and that you ask follow-up questions. After six minutes, we come back, we share a little, and we go back to the break to the break rooms for question number two. Any questions? Okay. okay. No. No. Clear. All right, very good. Be honest, but not that much. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Accept the invite, please. Ahí les va a salir el botoncito que dice join. Entrar. Oh, entrar. Uh -huh. Okay, um, I was waiting for, hey, Nubia, can you hear me? Hola, Nubia, me escucha? If you can hear me, we are working in groups. Go ahead and click where it says entrar or join. So you can join one of the groups. Any Uh, uh. Okay. Let me see. When, <laughs> when I was in my team, I uh -huh. was the. Uh, hey, did you? Uh, hi. Hi. I think she. Uh, he had a problem. 
but I don't know if... Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, Julio Sequeira, I guess he can't hear me. So, yes. uh, yeah. We're yeah, going to give him, we're going to give him a few seconds because he's, I can see here okay. that he's trying to connect the audio. But in the meantime, tell okay. me, how are you and your okay. team? Well, I'm still young teacher, but <laughs> in team. <Okay. laughs> All right. So I let's talk know. about your, your 13s, your 14s. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> so um, let me tell you that I grew up with seventh cousin. So oh. we were troublemakers really troublemakers i can imagine because yeah after the school at midday we went at home we went home we, we went home yeah mm -hmm. we went home and the first time we did uh was uh brushing up change our calls mm -hmm. and it started playing and we spent the rest of the 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 the, the evening or, or the afternoon, playing with our neighborhoods, with, with our other neighbors, kids. with our neighbors. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Sorry. Neighbor, with our neighbor, neighbors. Neighborhood is the place. Neighbors is the people. It's the place. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's true. Can so you with hear our us? Neighbors. Sorry to interrupt. Can you hear us, Julio? Okay. Continue telling me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna text him to see if he can. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. So what else? I don't know. I remember that we liked to play soccer, um, basketball, and once I remember, we break a window. We play soccer. A window. Uh, we broke. Yeah, we broke a window playing soccer. Mm -hmm. So our neighbors, one of our neighbors, a man who was six, sixty years old, I mean, I guess. So he get she, he got mad with us at us. He got mad at us, and he went. He came to to tell to tell our our mom. Mm -hmm. After that, our mom doesn't like it what we did. So didn't keep the past tense. We didn't. Okay, I I, I had a problem with that to so keep the past tense in our phrases. Don't worry, don't worry. So uh, after that, that event. So our mom doesn't like didn't, didn't like, like didn't like to let us to go out to went out i, I guess didn't no. didn't allow us to to play outside to go out yeah i didn't allow us to play outside after that event that's true but over the years we learned how to behave <laughs> okay in the street with our neighbors and with other people, we we were well educated, I guess. Mm -hmm. So that is now that we are in our twenties. Uh, that is very useful. That the the law that lo, that um, learning that we learn. is really that uh, yeah that we learn. It's really useful for us today because we. Right now, we know how to behave with other person, to apologize, and not to break rules, and something like that. Okay, so to be respectful, you learn how to be respectful, pretty much. Yeah, we have to, yeah, we learn to be respectful, because after that, our mom made that we go to apologize with the man, Okay. with our neighbor. So she so, made you apologize. Yeah, she made me apologize. So okay. that wasn't easy, but I did. Okay, excellent. Good job, William. Um, we're going to keep on working, right? Okay. In the meantime, because uh, Julio is not re responding and uh, still having okay. issues. But I consider that you did a great job. Just before I leave, how did you call me? What button did you press so I could come to this classroom? Ah. Uh, there was a button to say ask help so do that... me a favor uh -huh, okay would you mind taking a screenshot of that and send it to my personal whatsapp that way i can teach the others because i don't have your perspective as a student and i want to learn it okay okay mm -hmm. so take a screenshot whenever you're doing that and send it to my personal chat 
Okay, but now the the the, the button doesn't appear in the in the screen. Uh huh. Yeah. No worries. Whenever, whenever you 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 have time, I'm gonna leave the room. Okay. 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 All right, guys, welcome back. Little by little, the rest are coming back. They will be here in 10 seconds. Now, um, to be honest with you guys, in my teens, I was very naive. I, I was super naive and um, I was like a troublemaker, but a naive little boy. So what about you? Who wants to tell me? how you used to behave when you were a teen. You used to behave. Who, 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 who? Nice. I, I, I could describe ways. myself in different adjectives. For uh -huh. example, I was a little ambitious and a little naive and a little sophisticated as well. Okay. Nice. Nice. Good description. I would always recommend you to add more information. Why do you say you were naive? Why sophisticated? All right, because uh, I was a little naive because uh, some people lied me and I believed them. Uh -huh. Some people lied to you. Yes, and I believed them. Hey, you've been there, man. I've been there too. <laughs> and okay. a little ambitious because I always wanted more. Uh, I I wanted things that I couldn't I couldn't get in that time. You couldn't get or you couldn't have. I couldn't have in that time. Nice, good, good job, Douglas. Nice. One more person before we go back to the break rooms with the next question. One more. Just one. Don't be afraid. This this I, I think this this practicing. Sorry. Uh, was like a, a visit in the psychology because <laughs> we we uh, we imagine the uh, um, or moments in the life in the life like a retrospective res retrospective perspective and perspectiva no res retrospectiva res Good question. Let me let okay. me Google it. Okay, I, I'm going to find it. Um, and how do you say? Wow, we, how do you say? Sorry to interrupt. Desahogarse. Yeah. Oh, good question. <laughs> throw, throw it out. Vent. <laughs> vent. So you were able to vent, getting that out of your system. Vent. Vent with DS and Victor. Vent. Mm -hmm. Vent. Okay. Desahogarse. Vent. vent. Okay, right. That's a new uh, be, word for me. Be careful though with the pronunciation. It is not bent with B as in boy. It is mm. here. Bent. Mm. Bent. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Bent. good. Uh, so give me an example, Arturo, of what you say. Yes, uh, well, because uh, my, my group uh, uh, talk about is his life when I when when I when our was were a child mm -hmm. when we were children we church we were children yes uh, maybe uh, we were happier than this moment <laughs> and, uh, and and more sociable okay uh, but it, it, it was interesting the, the practice interesting it was interesting, interesting. All right, good. I really hope that everybody get the chance to participate. Remember, it is okay to make mistakes. I don't mind if you make mistakes. That's how you learn, that's how yes. you improve. So now we're gonna talk about our 20s. Um, yes. I was very carefree in my 20s because I lived with my parents. So I had my job, money was for, my, by my, uh, for myself, I had my car, I had my friends, I had a lot of liberties. And if they say come at 3 a.m. or don't come, I used to arrive next day, you know, so I can obey my parents. Uh, so it was kind of 
interesting. I had a lot of fun, but I'm going to tell you about my now, about Alejandro from today. Those were my 20s. I was a little bit crazy, a little bit careless, and um, super rebellious. But now I'm not. Um, go ahead and accept the invite again, and now talk about your 20s. Vent, be honest, but not that much. Please go ahead and accept the invite. Vent. Vent. Uh -huh, you can vent. Wait, let's vent. <laughs> let's vent. You got six minutes, guys. Julio, can you hear me? ¿Me escucha, Julio? We do we we do it in pairs last time, so we already talk about us. So I don't know if you want to talk, William. Uh, don't worry, I I'm gonna wait. Can you talk about it, uh, Douglas or Mauricio? All right. Uh, in my twenties, I used yep. to be a, a little argumentative with my teacher. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay. And I was a little carefree because I didn't use to to bother uh, doing any house chores. Either either <coughs> sometimes either my homework. Yeah, I guess. And but at the same at the same time I was a little pragmatic and sophisticated. That's are some of the adjectives uh, where I could describe myself. Yeah, I, 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 I guess. Uh, in my case, I was very responsible with my homework at school, of course, but with the house chores, I was kind of um, silly, I guess, because <laughs> I didn't like, I didn't like it so much to do that. But at the end of the day, I had to do it because, uh, it, it was a, a, a common uh, whole chores for us, but at the end of the day, I always had to do it. So, never mind. All right. The chart you, class you, we're gonna do. you are the guy who, who is living alone, don't you? Repeat, please. Do you, uh, are, do I you used are the to, one I used who are living? Yeah, I used to live in alone. I used to live in alone. Not now, but I just but, but now. Know. All right. Uh -huh. so now you have to. Uh, yeah. In, in my case, my my children was uh, where your childhood. Uh, my child. Oh, uh, your childhood. So um. Childhood. So then, yes. Childhood. Childhood. Uh huh. Yes. My, my childhood case, was. My in my case, my childhood was um, a, a lot of poor, uh, but uh, we, we are... We were in past. We, we, we will be... Uh, we were, éramos. We were, mm -hmm. we were, we were yeah. uh, happy in my house. Uh, 
the life in my in my child childhood childhood childhood, childhood. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I I wasn't uh, easy 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 mm -hmm. troublemaker I wasn't easy but uh, uh, I I how good remember good memory good memories. memories good memories good memories, good memories uh, uh, of my child okay of one nice. child yeah. 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 good job Mauricio that's what I'm child. talking about nice practice so I you can think say everybody everybody have good memories about childhood. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's so what you? I was going to mention. Okay, now Sometimes let's do something. Let's go back to the main room because we still have one more thing to talk. Okay? All right. Okay. So let's see you there. Okay, thank you. Hey, William, you didn't send me the, the, the screenshot. Did you take it? You're muted. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, the the bottom disappeared from the screen. Yeah. Ah. Once you get yeah, no, wait. Once you 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 get into the room, mm -hmm. the bottom disappeared. Oh, okay. Because the, the bottom says invitar al anfitrión al, al, al breakout. Okay, good, good, good. Keep it in mind. So guys, um I need two volunteers to tell me about your twenties. Real quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, one more session. Francisco. Francisco, okay. There Francisco. You go. go ahead, sir. In yeah, my twenties, I was very ambitious. Ambitious um, because I always know, like, I like to work to get, you no know, like, my own clothes. Um, sometimes, you know, I get in trouble <laughs> because I always play around with my friends in my neighborhood, you know, like, in, in, in the in town. It. Neighbors. So I used to live and then my, we have with my neighbors. Mm -hmm. I get no in trouble because the ball, when we play soccer in the street, go to the houses and no, because we play every night, you know, like outside in, you know, in the street. Yes. You know, like I was like carefree, you know, like okay. I always you know like um, just live the life and um, I. I'm carefree about no, no, nothing, no? About you anything. Okay, yeah, thank you. Nice interaction, Francisco. And that was, Sorry. I don't know if you heard a couple of years back, uh, teenagers were saying YOLO. You only yeah. live once and doing a bunch of things. Okay, yeah. nice. So guys, we're gonna talk about how you are now, okay? I can tell you that now I have changed a lot. Now I am super uh, responsible. I care about my future. I am very ambitious. I'm going to go as high as I can. And I have very um, specific goals in my life. That's how I would describe this part of my life. And I'm not that rebellious anymore. I'm more conscientious about what I do. And I try to be pragmatic. Teacher, sorry, mm -hmm. a, a question, one question. Oh. Uh, what do you say, uh, cuidadoso? Cuidadoso is careful. 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 Carefree careful. is the opposite, like careless. The opposite is carefree, okay. Or careless. It's another way careless. of saying careful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one, guys, so. hurry up, because this is going is only going to last three minutes. Okay. Not okay. six anymore. So hurry up, All hurry, right. up hurry up, accept the invite, please. Hurry up. Um, Elizabeth, you're out of the group. Who was your group? You were with William, right? Yeah. Okay, let me send you back to them. Uh, number two. Oh, and by the way, the issue is fixed with your platform. You can okay. check now. All right, go oh, accept the, in the invite, please.
I need to uh, take care of my health, my body, my food, all. Uh, everything. In the moment. Yes, everything because. Mm -hmm. uh, but you don't, you don't have a, a, a mix of behaviors with your state of pregnant. With your pregnancy. Uh, Pregnancy, pregnancy with your pregnancy uh, change your behavior yes okay. but uh, okay. uh, a new experience <laughs> yes yes mm -hmm. i imagine okay nice okay. what about veronica in my case i i think i am ambitious because my goal is to finish to learn English in a, in a high level. I think I am careful because I live alone and I, and I have my own home and I have to, to a lot of responsibility. I have a lot of responsibilities. I have a lot of responsibilities, okay. yes. And what about you, Arturo? Uh, well, uh, right now I, I think I, I changed my 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 behavior when I was a teenager, I'm an adult and I I think I I some anti antisocial <laughs> antisocial anti anti I don't I don't have a friend to to go out to go uh, out with to uh, to wow. go out with uh -huh. to go out go out to go out with and. I, I prefer staying at home with my family. I'm I'm careless with the with many decisions decisions mm -hmm. that 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 I had that I had to to take to take. Um, I don't know. I I I I I, I became uh, in going. Mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, introverted. I'm, I'm going, uh, the introverted. Yes. Uh -huh. The okay. opposite of outgoing. Right. Yes. Introverted. <laughs> so, but okay. that's so that means that this quarantine is good for you. Do you like yes, it? Yes. I, I. I. Well, first I. 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 Well, I engineering, engineering and, and I think all the engineers are intro. Uh, Introvert, introvert, or, 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 or shy, mm -hmm. or, or shy. I, I, I don't have a problem with the quarantine. <laughs> with the quarantine, okay, nice, good interaction to the three of you guys. Let's go back to the main room. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, girls. All righty, guys. So, welcome back. I need one last volunteer to talk about the twenties. The twenties or now? Oh, uh, now. Sorry about that. Now. A, a short description of myself is that I am a little prudent and I am responsible, but at the same time I am ambitious, I am social and a people person. Nice. And I am respectful with everybody. Okay. Yeah. Good. Nice blasting. Good, nice definition, very accurate, a lot of vocabulary. So guys, um, thank you very much for not running away because of this little earthquake we just had. <laughs> I don't know if you felt it. But, so thank you yes. for not running away. Um, <laughs> you've done a great job, guys. At this level, you have to practice, practice, and then practice. Practice. But yes. you have to yes. get vocabulary. Vocabulary is very important, okay? I'm gonna be sending you a link of, of a video that I recorded giving advice to people on how to, on how to learn vocabulary, okay? Which I consider is gonna help you a lot. Also tomorrow, okay. we will be talking about regrets. Do you know what is the meaning of regrets? Wow. Yeah, regrets. <laughs> yeah, yes. regrets. The things that you say, oh man, no. I should have no, done deep. that. <laughs> Why did that, I do that? Exactly. That will be so deep. So, that's going to be tomorrow's topic. To um, try to think about a new vocabulary that you can use, how to express your ideas. Prepare yourself like if this were a job interview. So you come okay. here. So, one question. Uh -huh. it's, uh, 
when you say that you're gonna send a link to you not know, like for the, that we get the vocabulary um where are we gonna get it in in gmail or or whatsapp group uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. WhatsApp and yeah, group. It's, it's just a video of me talking about how i learned vocabulary for in gmail right in gmail right or yeah whatsapp no, WhatsApp, bro. WhatsApp. WhatsApp, uh, mm -hmm. what's up what's up what is your number i don't have your your whatsapp i guess um but... i'm gonna send it to the group i'm gonna send it to, to the, the group. group don't worry or, I'm all gonna right. in, introduce myself one more time because you know I don't Goodbye. want my I don't want my phone uh, on the internet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, thank you very much. My name is Alejandro okay. Narbona on thank behalf you. of Inglés Corporativo. Get out of here. Be free. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Have a nice evening, everyone. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher.